Significant strides have been made by technocrats attached to the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment towards the design, development and implementation of a social information system, SIS, that would guide decision-making as it relates to allocating resources towards vulnerable and poor populations on St. Lucia. Using massive amounts of collated and analyzed data, the SIS will modernize the way government ministries and agencies involved in delivering social services benefits like the Ministry of Equity, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health, the Public Service, the National Insurance Corporation, the Electoral Department, the Registry, the Social Development Fund, etc., best target and deliver on those much-needed services. The government makes payments monthly. There are many other benefits in kind. We have the issue of identifying these persons through applications and el use of eligibility tools, which involves a lot of data management for the Ministry of Equity. So the IT component of the Human Capital Resilience Project is a major component in modernizing and strengthening the social protection system for St. Lucia. Throughout the entire process over the next few years, capacity will be built within the Ministry of Equity and within the social protection system for better management of data and information on poor and vulnerable persons receiving assistance from the government. The system will therefore feature applicants and beneficiaries of the following. The PAP, which we call the Public Assistance Program and Related Services, the Child Disability Grant, the SSDF could mercilessly and related services. Local ICT consultant Bradley O'Kelly is heading the SIS initiative, which began in February of 2023. The SIS forms part of the World Bank-funded Human Capital Resilience Project, currently in its halfway phase and set to conclude in 2025.